Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Today we listen to an event in Jesus ministry that we find in the book of Luke chapter 7 and we read there starting at verse 1. When Jesus had finished saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. There a centurion servant whom his master valued highly was sick and about to die. The centurion heard of Jesus and sent some of the elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and heal his servant. When they came to Jesus, they pleaded earnestly with him, This man deserves to have you do this, because he loves our nation and has built our synagogue. So Jesus went with them. He was not far from the house when the centurion sent friends to say to him, Lord, don't trouble yourself for I do not deserve to have you come under my roof. That is why I did not even consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority with soldiers under me. I tell this one, go, and he goes, and that one, come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed at him. And turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. Then the men who had been sent returned to the house and found the servant well. Once when Jesus was rejected by his own hometown, he was stunned. He was stunned by their unbelief. Here, Jesus is astonished in a a different way by a Roman centurion's amazing faith. Jesus said, I have not found such great faith even in Israel. A Roman military officer, a foreigner, a non-Israelite, wanted Jesus to heal his sick slave. He felt himself to be unworthy. He was uniquely humble. He loved his slave. He respected the Jewish faith so much that he built a synagogue for the Jews. Yet not for one moment did he think that he earned the right to approach Jesus face to face or for Jesus to even enter his home. The centurion's insight is remarkable. Just as the government gave him authority to command soldiers and slaves, he understood Jesus had authority from above, from the God of the Holy Scriptures. He believed Jesus could heal his slave by just saying a word. That faith Jesus had not encountered even among the Jews. A Lutheran pastor once received a letter asking, How can I find faith? Have you ever struggled finding yourself wavering from faith to unbelief and from unbelief back to faith again? The pastor met with the letter writer and he answered her with three Latin words. He said, Faith is notitia, ascensus, and fiducio. Notitia is knowledge. Faith does not begin with emotions. It's based on objective fact. It's an awareness of one sin and God's righteous judgment, coupled with God's gracious love and forgiveness through his son, Jesus. That's a fact. A saintsus is agreement. Faith agrees with the information, the knowledge that scripture provides. And fiducia has to do with estates and trusts. Faith does not earn anything. It receives an inheritance from beyond oneself. Faith is not a rational choice. We don't choose God. Faith is more like falling in love. First, God's love woos us. And scripture is God's love letter to us. The Holy Spirit works God's love from his letter into our hearts, creating the response called faith, moving our hearts to trust completely in God's love. Faith is not trying, but trusting. Dear Jesus, draw us daily to your word, your love letter to us, and through it, make our faith greater day by day. Amen.